Hey there guys, Adam Fishwick here and in this video I'm going to be defending the classic Doctors. Enjoy and roll the new title sequence. So last night I was talking to my fellow friends Charlie and Aaron from All Things Doctor Who and we were discussing about um, about the 10th Doctor uh, saying how, how popular he is and Darren's just done a video of that last night I'll put the link um, in, the, in the description below Now I also thought of a video uh, for, for defending the classic Doctors Now before you start ranting at me in in the comments, um, say, saying that oh you, you you're mocking mo modern who, which I'm not because I love modern who, but I also love the classic series. Now, if it wasn't for the classic series, we wouldn't have modern who today. And I know people uh, who only just watch the the modern series and the modern series alone, and I also know that people just only watched the tenth Doctor, David Tennant, because he was the only Doctor he that they like. Uh, and to and you got, I, I have to say that um, that Dave David uh, David Tennant's Doctor, um, he he reminds me of the fifth Doctor, Peter Davison. Now um, these modern Doctors, you know, like Matt, like David. Chris, uh, Matt, and Peter. Uh, they, the, all their doctors are from. Are from um, they portrait their doctors from the classic doctors. Well, I can't make um, a good explanation for for Christopher Eccleston. Uh, he, he. I, I, the only best explanation I can think of the of the uh, ninth doctor is. Again, the fifth Doctor and the tenth Doctor, because uh, because the fifth Doctor is more of the human Doctor, same as that that same with the ninth Doctor and the tenth Doctor. They they were the more human Doctor. So I know that Chris didn't watch Doctor Who when he was young, but I know David did, and in uh, in. Uh, in Time Crash, uh, the tenth Doctor said to the fifth Doctor, "You were my Doctor." So I'm guessing that's how the tenth Doctor act, acts like, that, because uh, that that's how um, that that's where they get their um, get, get, that's how they portrait their um, their Doctors. Like I can I can say a good explanation ex uh, example for. Uh, the eleventh doctor. He portraits. Uh, he portraits his doctor and the second doctor with the bow ties, and and that. I I even know that Matt Smith even likes uh, Patrick Troughton's doctor. His fa it is a fun fact for you. Um, Matt Smith's favorite episode is Tomb of the Cybermen. So you're probably thinking, why am I wearing the fez? I'm talking about classic Who, not modern Who. Fun fact for you, that the 11th Doctor was not the first Doctor to wear a fez. No, uh, the, the 7th Doctor and Ace started it first in the uh, in the anniversary special, Silver Nemesis. And uh, the fez is not, they don't wear the fez for long, but there is one scene where the, the 7th Doctor and... Uh, and Ace wear, uh, wear the fez. If you don't believe me, I'm going to show you a picture. And when I look at the 12th Doctor, I look back and I think of uh, the first Doctor. Not just because uh, the 12th Doctor is the oldest Doctor in Modern Who and uh, the first Doctor is uh, the oldest Doctor in the classic series. It's just that they have the same... 
that they have the same personality, um, the Rebel Doctor, and also the Twelfth Doctor also reminds me of uh, the Sixth Doctor. Uh, if if you're not a fan of uh, the Twelfth Doctor, and and you also don't really like the Sixth Doctor, well, if if you've not seen any of his episodes of of the Sixth Doctor. Um, uh, the uh, the si the sixth Doctor said in his first story, uh, the twin dilemma, right at the end to Perry, "I am the Doctor, whether you like it or not." That that is what that is basically what the twelfth Doctor is saying to Clara. I I, I see I see that I see uh, them as the as the modern uh, as the modern series, uh, the twelfth Doctor and Clara and the sixth Doctor and and Perry. That that's where um, that that's where uh, modern doctors get get some class get their they portrait themselves as classic doctors. So I I just want you to you know I I'm not forcing you to watch the classic series um, or anything. Um, I'm just I'm just telling you that. Um, that the modern doctors have portrayed themselves on on classic doctors, and I, I just want you guys to respect the classic series for that. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't probably we probably wouldn't have uh, the these these modern doctors now. There won't be they probably won't be as great if they didn't portray themselves. I'm not I'm not saying that they were all like the classic doctors doctors. They are their own doctors. Don't get me wrong, but there are some places in um, in, in modern who where, uh, where where the doctors uh, where the modern doctors portrayed themselves on on, on the classic doctors um, and I got another thing to say the this is completely different uh, a completely different subject uh, that the classic doctors were never romantic were never romantic because that's what the modern doctors do like take the tenth doctor for example he's kissed in like all of his companions and same same with um same same with um the eleventh doctor he's kissed in all of his he's kissed in all of his companions and the classic series doesn't have that the only classic doctor I I know that has kissed his companion is the eighth doctor. Now I don't know about you. I I don't know if you if you count the eighth doctor as a classic doctor, but I do. Um, but um, but I'm I'm just saying this to to the ones who don't watch the classic series. You know, if if you if you do if, if some of you who are watching this who, who watch the classic series, I'm happy I'm, I'm really glad that that you do. And uh, you know what I'm on about and uh but I'm just saying it to the people who who don't watch classic who. Uh you know, it's just um if you just Look back to I don't know the foot to to the sixth Doctor or or the third Doctor. I mean they they were good gentlemen. Don't get me wrong. I I can say that to the third Doctor and the fourth Doctor. There is um, some good chemistry uh, with the doc with the classic Doctors and their companions. Take. Take the fourth doctor for an example. He he was um, he had a good um, relationship with the with, with Sarah Jane and uh, but I'm I'm not saying like uh, they were um, that um, they were romantic. No, they ju they were just their friends. That they were just good friends, and that's what I like to see with the with the doctor and and the companion. And that's that is definitely what I want to see for the twelfth Doctor and Bill, and probably the future Doctor and the future companion in Chris Chibnall's era. And I really want Chris to 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 do that. And yeah, I'm just I'm just saying to you that that um, that um, that classic who I can 
um, that just it just needs to be more supportive with those who don't watch classic Who. There are so many references in in uh, the modern series to the classic to the uh, classic era. Say in say for an example, um, the tenth Doctor set, uh, uh, says in the episode Tooth and Claw. In, uh, he says, my name is Dr. J uh, Jamie McCrimmon from Balmore. Now, if you don't know the companion J uh, Jamie uh, McCrimmon uh, with the second Doctor and you, ha you don't know who, the who he is, what are you doing? Go and watch some, go and watch some second Doctor stories with Jamie. Yeah, you know, as I said, I'm not forcing you to watch it though, I'm just giving you some advice so you can understand more of the modern series because you know as I said there's so many references in in the modern series like for the, the for, for the example I just said that the the eleventh doctor was not the first doctor to be wearing a fez I bet uh, that Stephen Moffat went back to watch some classic series, classic episodes and he he probably watched it so Silver so Nemesis and and then put the idea of the fez and I gotta say I I if he if Stephen Moffat did that I want to say thank you I'm glad that uh, that Stephen listens to to that and if you are listening to me uh, I'm hoping that um, you you you're going to watch some classic the classic stories. I, I'll be very happy if if you did though. But as I said, I'm not forcing you to watch to watch some classic uh, series. And I know if if you do watch some classic who, uh, and um, you're gonna be thinking all oh, the special effects were rubbish back then. And if you want and. I just want to say when I watched when I started to watch uh, uh, the classic series, um, I accepted what they had back then, and it it doesn't really matter on uh, on the special effects. It's the story what counts. That that's what made the plot alive. And also, um, I um, I just want to say for the third. For the twelfth Doctor, I I bet that Peter Capaldi has got has left his hair long so he can look a bit more like the third Doctor. I think that's where he got the inspiration from, and I and I really hope that um that that um we're gonna get a bit of uh, the third Doctor in uh in series ten and um and also the Rebel Doctor. Now, this is um, what I what I, I'm having my hopes up for. But I I know that uh, I don't want to get my hopes up too much. But I really want the twelfth Doctor to ride Bessie. That that is what I want in his last story. That that would make my day. And if you don't know who Bessie is, uh, go and watch some uh, third Doctor stories as well. Because the third Doctor is brilliant. And you know, in years to come, if Doctor Who is still around, uh, I, I bet that um, our, our future uh, our, our future generation are going to love uh, the, the future technology and they're going to look back at, uh, at the, uh, when, we, when it started for us and they're going to be thinking that the technology wasn't that good. So, you know... Uh, I bet when you, when you guys show uh, your kids that, I just and they don't really accept it. Uh, you know, I just want you to say the same thing what I've just said to you. So you know, I, I just I just would like you to watch some uh, some classic who, and if if you want some suggestions from me, uh, and if, if you want some suggestions from me, what classic stories you, if you should watch. If you're um, if you're into like say for instance the fourth Doctor, I would suggest that you should go and watch Genesis of the Daleks. That that's how Davros first started, and and to be honest, you'll probably learn more about about the Daleks uh, then. And uh, I, and I also want to say that you guys probably see the tenth Doctor as the iconic Doctor. In the modern series, and 
and also the fourth Doctor is known to be in the classic series so you know if you like the tenth Doctor, Doctor very very much then I suggest that you should go and watch some fourth Doctor stories because I love the fourth Doctor and also if you like the, the 11th Doctor a bit more then go and watch some second Doctor stories because he because the second Doctor and the 11th Doctor uh, they're both the they're both the same they're, they're not completely the same but they have the similarities there so yeah I just wanted you guys to respect more of the classic series a bit more and I really hope I'll get you. The, I've got you the inspiration to watch some classic series. So that's my discussion of defending the classic doctors. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a like. And also, I said in my previous videos that I would be uh, doing my ace, my my uh, bill and ace video. How they're gonna be the same? I'm the humble curator. That will be up very soon and also Aaron from All Things Doctor Who has still got some editing to do for uh, how we became humans. I'm really sorry that it's not it's taken a while it's just it's a lot to do and you know and Aaron's a, Aaron is a busy guy so you know he, he, he's we're hoping that it will be up as soon as possible but I, I just don't know when though so until then guys See ya. This is Wes of Damage speaking. Subscribe. Please do subscribe. If you subscribe, I'll give you a cappuccino slice of cake.